Welcome back from our little break. Hello. Hi. Um, okay, I have to squat very low to use this microphone. Um, I would like to welcome to the stage Allison Ward. I'm going to do this. <laughs> um, I'm going to welcome to the stage now Allison Warden, who's here from Alaska in the U.S. And um, I met Allison. Uh, some years ago in Seattle, and then we got reacquainted uh, this last December in New Orleans um, through her work with the National Performance Network in the U.S. And um, I've seen this piece before uh, when it was performed in Seattle. It's called Calling All Polar Bears, um, dealing with um, issues of global warming and how this is affecting um, animals, especially polar bears, as well as other animals in, um, in Alaska. This is the, the theme that she's dealing with. So um, I really enjoyed this performance, and I'm sure you will too. And um, I'm going to welcome Allison to the stage now. So thank you. know where Kaktovik is? No! You know where Alaska is? Yay! Okay. Pretend my hand is Alaska. Does this look like Alaska to you? Yes, maybe? Okay. Pretend in your brain. Oh, okay. Oh, that should pass until um, I'll go like that. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so this is Alaska. My, I am from an island oh, in the Arctic Ocean. It's okay to laugh. <laughs> um, called Kaktovik. It's like Hawaii, but the ocean is frozen. <laughs> it's really little tiny island, maybe 250 people up here. <gasps> wow, and guess what? We are going to go to Kaktovik together today. Yay! All of us together, okay? We're going to go all the way up to the Arctic, and we're going to cool down. Okay. But first, can everybody say, in it black? In it black. Yes. Oh, you guys are so smart. That is the name of my people. In it black. Yeah, we are f from the Arctic, and we are way up there, and you guys are going to go. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay. Put your seatbelts on. Put your seatbelts on. Come on, you guys. We're supposed to be having fun together. Okay, we're having fun together. Thank you. Okay, okay. It's okay to laugh and have fun together. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's gonna be okay right here. Okay. Oh, uh oh. I did something. Okay. Oh, here we go. The cocktail with you. Yeah, 
Okay, <laughs> it's so good, good, yes, you're supposed to laugh, you're supposed to be funny, we are people together, <laughs> and I'll teach you together, okay? Okay, hello, hi, 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 I'm Uncle Norman, hello, hello, okay, <laughs> hi, welcome to Kaktovic, yeah, you made it, nice and cool here, Woo. my uh, niece, what did me to? Uh, I'm gonna put this. She needs to go to sleep. Uh, she wanted me to tell you about the land up here and pool bears and all these things. You guys look like pool bears. <laughs> and here, you know, we have a belief in our people. They are just like people inside. The animals, all of them, pool bears. Seals, whales, walruses, everything. What kind of animals you got around here? I don't know, right? <laughs> moose, you guys got moose? Just like people inside. So we treat them with respect. You know, I have my coat on. If I was gonna take my coat off, the animals, they take their coats off. Yeah. They take their coats off, because so these their coats, the fur. And they go into their homes and they take off their coats. And some of them have really nice European style homes. <laughs> and they put on the hook and there are people inside their homes. Yeah. So uh, I'll tell you a quick story. <laughs> well, who likes to go hiking? Anybody? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, 
We go hiking, but we don't really call it hiking. But there's a trail on the ice. I was walking on the trail one time. And uh, the polar bear was using the same trail. And I saw him and I uh, uh, looked at him and he, I thought, he looks pretty fat. <laughs> I don't think he's going to eat me. And he looked at me and he was probably thinking, he looks pretty fat. <laughs> I don't think he's going to eat me. And so I thought, well, I don't, I'll just keep walking. And he was walking too on the same trail. And we're walking, walking, true story. And we came by each other and we went like this. And he went like this. And we kept on walking. <laughs> yeah, just like people inside. Yeah, you know, uh, being up in this Arctic, you know, I've lived here my whole life. I grew up here. Yeah, beautiful country, all right. You know, they've been trying to drill for oil up here for 30 years, trying to get under the supposed oil underneath this place. No, when they first told us about that, they said, everybody's going to be a millionaire. And I thought, that sounds pretty good. I could get a new boat, new ski do. All kinds of things, go Hawaii, <laughs> maybe go Berlin. <laughs> anyway, I thought that sounded really good, all right. But then, uh, thank goodness, there's environmental people who are fighting against it and the Gucci nation. And you know, nowadays, I was out on the boat with my niece. It's like, it look almost like you. And, um, she was, uh, we were out and I said, you see those, that big iceberg way over there? And she said, yeah. And I said, there used to be lots of ice everywhere. Ice, like a city of ice, skyscrapers. No, we only never only see one, maybe. Look way over there. So it's changing really fast. We used to be able to hunt, sit our watches by the earth. <laughs> but nowadays, we have no idea what's going to happen. You know, the hunting is weird. Yeah, nowadays, uh, now I'm not so much for it, you know, all that development. Because if I can't hunt, I don't know if I'd still be in the back. Oh, we could be twins. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Sandy. Hello. Welcome to Cocktail Week. Good, you guys are learning. Uh, I work with a tribe here, and it's so good to have so many visitors here in Cocktail Week. So, I guess you just met my uncle. Isn't he a character? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about tribes versus reservations and corporations. Do you guys know about reservation system? About Indians, uh, American Indians in the States? Anybody know about that? One person, okay, good. A few people. So the native people in the States got reservations, right? What do you think Alaska's native people got? Did we get reservations too? No. So smart. We got corporations. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. Well, 
you know, shorts. Um, in December, uh, or in 1971, they discovered oil in Prudhoe Bay, so they wanted to quickly solve the land claims with the native people of the whole state. So who was born before December 18, 1971? Okay, one brave person. Okay, and who was born after December 18, 1971? Most everybody else. Oh, I'm missing some hands. Some people just arrived on now. They manifested. Okay. <laughs> anyway, they had a cutoff date. If you were born before December 18, 1971, you were a shareholder in your corporation. So you would be the shareholder. And the people after that date, we were called the afterborns. Ooh. <laughs> so <laughs> gross, yeah. Um, and those people, which is me, we didn't get any stock in our corporation, which is our tie to the land, and the tribes didn't get any land. So it's kind of interesting. I told this, I was at a big conference in New York City, and there's a South American guy, and they've been fighting all the corporations there, and I told them that they made us into the corporations. And I thought his poor little head was going to explode. <laughs> it's like, you are the corporations? The native people? So, um, you know, my uncle mentioned the oil. They've been trying to get at the oil here in Kaktovik. Oh, and you know, uh, anyway, they've been trying to get at the oil down here, and they have all these strategies to try to win us over our opinion. All the students got a brand new Apple laptop. Nice one <laughs> to keep. And um, every year they would send, well, let me, I called home. I was going to graduate school, and I called home, and my mom was on the phone. Honey, guess what? Guess what Santa brought me? A really nice crock pot, really good red one, really good enamel, really fancy and heavy, and a good lid. And all the men got really nice knives with a sharpener from Santa. And the kids got MP3 thingies. Oh, who brought them, Mom? Santa! BP Santa! <sighs> yeah! Yeah, for 10 years, the oil companies would send the Santa, ho, 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 <laughs> um, with gifts for the villagers. And they stopped doing that, now that we have internet. <laughs> um, but there's all kinds of strategies. Okay, one last story. I was just graduated high school, and my uncle called me. Hey, we're going to go to D.C. Everybody's going to go. Well, except for me. I'm organizing it. Okay. Anyway, you, C.C., Bon Bon, Yaki, Marjorie, uh, anyway, everybody and you. Uh, you guys going to go D.C., go Six Flags, go to America. You're going to have a lot of fun. Go shopping. Okay. You're going to be on the list. Okay. You're on the list. Okay. Bye. And my, I did. I went on the list. I went on the charter to go to D.C., and they had told us to bring our regalia. And we had fun. We went to Six Flags Great America. We went to uh, shopping and all these things. But right at the end, they said, OK, time to put on your regalia and your boots and everything, your kamipiaks. And we normally wouldn't wear it in the city. And then they took us to this, uh, the senators and the Congress.
army people to test their old houses. It was still there. And I was walking around. And I was with a, a ten-legged polar bear. And I wasn't scared of him. And he was my friend. And we were walking around in the old, old village. And then all of a sudden, oh, the sky opened like a superb. 
it was so scary. And me and that 10 naked people went to the other side. <gasps> and then the sky, the sky closed up like a moon. And then we were in the future. And we were walking around by the new airport area. And you know where that big hangar is? What is that thing called when uh, there's a symbol of a company, but it's not a word, it's a picture? Logo! Yes, logo! <gasps> there was a logo on the side of that building. <gasps> and it was starting to come alive. And it started coming off the building. And me and that didn't make it pull up. and looked at each other. And we knew we were going to have to fight it. <gasps> and so we had a harpoon. And we didn't know what we were going to do because it was so scary. A big corporate monster thingy! <gasps> and then all of a sudden, Ah, these airplanes came <gasps> with people who look like you guys, so many different people <gasps> from all over the world. So nice. And they all flew in and they were going to help us fight that corporate monster. Look at me. You know, I heard you met a polar bear. You guys look like polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you know, nowadays we feed those polar bears at the end of the runway, and we used to never do that. We give them, we have, like, from here to that wall, even closer, and we'll turn on our high beams and in our trucks, and we'll watch them eat like Animal Kingdom. <laughs> We just need to provide music and it will be a full thing, you know, <laughs> romantic. <laughs> we never used to do that. But now they can go out on the ice and they're staying on land. And, oh, we feel sorry for those, them polar bears. <laughs> I heard you've been talking to a bunch of yin yangs in the village about all this development and all this stuff, you know. I'm here to set the record straight. They don't know. You know, I grew up here. Oh, oh technology. I grew up here. <laughs> Testing. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm a whaler, a whaler you know. You know? I go, I go out on this, on this land, land too. too. I live in I both, live both worlds. worlds. And these yin yang yin yang people, people upstarting the they, they, they don't understand. understand. You know, the you know, technology, technology to extract, to extract the, resources the resources that we have, we have here, here is a lot is better, better than what it was even 10 years, 10 years ago. Years. It's getting better it's all the time. And we as the corporation, we wouldn't, we wouldn't support, support any, any kind of activity, activity up here, here if we didn't we think didn't it think could it be could done be safely, safely and, and, and in harmony, in harmony with, with the land here. You know, they don't know what hard work is, these young ones. I grew up, it was 40 below, I'd have to start the stove. We grew up on hard work. You know, they just got internet and cable now, and they don't know anything about that. Now, 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 everybody, everybody here knows, knows that eventually, eventually the oil companies, companies are going to get at these resources, resources right? right? There's no, There's stopping. no stopping. stopping. So we, so need, we to need, need, to need to have a seat, seat as a table, table. As, in, as, as, as native people. people. And when and it comes when down, it down to it, you really got to think about it. Ask yourself, 
Whose hand would you rather shake? Theirs or ours? Last year, me and my two cups, Junior and Dorothy, we were swimming and swimming oh, the same amount of time. We were out on the ice with the seals, and they were learning how to stop them, and they were doing so good. And then it was time for us to go. So we set off, me and my two cups. And we were swimming and swimming and swimming. And we left the same time as last year. Anyway, we were going for a long time. And so I started telling them stories about how Sedna created all the animals of the sea and her long hair. And I told them about the uh, villages under the sea with the seals and the walrus village and how there are people inside like us too. Yeah. Telling them stories after stories. And Junior got a little tired, so he wanted to think by himself. So I let him. And we kept swimming. And then I thought I saw the land. But it wasn't land. In that, In that moment, 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 moment. I, I have to, to tell her. Junior, he, he went, went to the to bottom the of the ocean, ocean to go and visit the seals. <gasps> yeah. He had, he a, had special a special invitation, invitation and he's going to go down, down the bottom way. Maybe we, we could see him. him. And we're going to go that go top way and we're going to meet him on the other side when we reach to the shore, OK? And we just kept going. <laughs> and I told her about what it means to be a, a woman polar bear and having baby polar bears. And we just kept swimming. And I told her story after story and about Sedna's long, beautiful hair and how it longs to be brushed. And she said, maybe I can brush Sedna's hair. She didn't she last, didn't last much, much longer after that. After that. <laughs> I, I, I had I to had keep to going. going. I just, I just kept, swimming. kept swimming. I had to I tell, had somebody, tell somebody, somebody about, about my cups. cups. Yeah. 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 
They were doing so good, so smart, learning and stocking the seal. And they were really working good together as a team. And they were just really good, young. <laughs> just, I just had to tell somebody about my cups, which is myself. <laughs> And the feel, oh. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> yeah, I'm the seal, I'm the seal, keeping it cool out here. <laughs> Welcome to Cocktail Week. Oh, wait, wait, we're gonna see you check out quick, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Here I am, here I am, wait, wait. <laughs> it's not my cousin. <laughs> you give me, you give me. <laughs> anyway, hey, put a chip in my hand. Feel that you know you've got to make it all. Lots of things going on, man. <laughs> you know, I thought, oh, uh, I should talk about the people, you know, because the people are always talking about the animals, you know. <laughs> it's like, what about the people, man? It's not just about the animals. <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's this, uh, there's an elder in the village, she was born in 42, and she grew up in a sad house, now she's on Facebook. <laughs> there's a lot of change, man, lots of change, man, things are getting weird up here too, with the eyes. <laughs> Did you hear about the, you know, serious about the polar bears? <laughs> What about the seals, you know? <laughs> you know, did you hear that the polar bears are starting to mate with the uh, grizzlies? Seriously, <laughs> weird, those guys are weird. <laughs> they freak me out, you know, stay away from those guys. <laughs> okay, I'll take a good minute, watch. Here, here, here. <laughs> you just got sealed. <laughs> yeah, you get me, you get me. Yeah, tough crowd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the people, you know, there's a lot of change to go through in one year, you know, one lifetime, you know, 70 years from a sun house to the internet, you know, she gets a perm. <laughs> yeah, man, they, they went through a lot of stuff, man. We think it's bad for us seals, but, man, you know, well, first of all, there's this first great wave of uh, death, you know, didn't affect us seals. <laughs> what, about 85% of Alaska? Whoa, trippy, man. And then there's a second wave. You might know about this. I recognize you. <laughs> there's like TB, boom. <laughs> all those like 10 kids from Kaltovic here sent away to Seattle. Only one came back alive. <laughs> Rough stuff, man. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be funny. Huh? <laughs> oh, anyway, what else? What else? Uh, uh, yeah, lots of things happen to the people, man. Oh, 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 they sent all, all the kids all out to boarding schools? Oh, you know. They sent them all out, and uh, they were punished for speaking their language. 
We have our own language in seals. He's like, <laughs> you understood me. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, lots of crazy stuff, man. I mean, you know, they did experiments, the government did, <laughs> on the kids. And they put all the little Inuit kids together, and, and uh, they were naked in a room, and they were just to see if they were more resistant to cold. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, we we'll do. We injected them with uh, radioactive iodine. <laughs> oh, oh, so can make this stuff up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty resilient to cold. <laughs> I got my blood blue. <laughs> yep, I'm having lots of stuff here. You know, what, what, what about me? What about the seal, you know? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, <laughs> who am I going to meet with? A fox? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what am I going to do? Bask on the land now? now? <laughs> Not so comfy, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yep, oh, there we go, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, man, crazy stuff going on, man. Lots of stuff. <gasps> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> hey, you come on. Okay. Well, it's getting closer to the time to get ready to go back to your destination. <laughs> I'm going to stay here. Oh, 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 my goodness. Well, you know, you have been maybe seeing images of whaling. You see any images of the whaling? Guess what? We're just in real time right now. We just recently got a whale. I think it was today or yesterday. So we are still. Some of you look like, oh my goodness, you're killing the whales. <laughs> yes, we are killing the whales over there. <laughs> and they are really yummy. And they taste good. And I wish I had some right now. But, but anyway, anyway yes, yes, we are we living off the land still yeah, yeah, yeah. and using and our, our traditional ways. And, and a little, little bit about, about that whaling. You know, oh, we, we have, have been, been living in this Arctic, Arctic for 10,000 10, years. years. We don't we have, have a tofu farm, farm in the Arctic. In the Arctic. <laughs> uh, you know, you we know, have we a have relationship, relationship with the animals. It's called it's the called gift of the whale. Okay, okay, pretend, pretend this, is this is a boat right, right here. here. Yeah. Okay, okay, pretend, pretend I'm a whale. I know I'm, I know fat, I'm fat, but pretend I'm really, really fat. fat. Okay, okay, like, like 60 ton fat. fat. And I'm and swimming I'm along. along. And I'm and swimming along. I look, I look like, like a whale, right? right? And in and order for the crew to kill me, I have to, as a whale, it's a conscious choice of the whale. And we have all these ceremonies and rituals. We don't like that word, but... We, we are, are that's, that's what we do. We have, have all these all things you have to do to be ready to, to have a respect the animal in the right way. way. Anyway. Anyway, 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 I'm a whale, I'm a whale. I'm a whale. I have I to have surface, surface and expose, and expose my, my sensitive, sensitive uh, 
my sensitive real area. I don't want to get you guys excited. <laughs> you know, it's too much. <laughs> I, I have to expose my little area here, and boom, they can only kill me in that one area. It's like a beautiful dance, you know. So we have a relationship to that animal. And my niece, she was in. Um, oh, I can't be able to see her because she's my friend. Oh. <laughs> anyway, my niece, she was over in a meeting in New York City, and ah, oh, these indigenous people were gathering from all over the world, kind of like you guys. And she was talking to these people from South America, and they had something called the gift of the turtle. <gasps> And it and was the same thing that that, that turtle has a sensitive turtle area too. <laughs> and it was the same thing, the same beliefs. <gasps> Everything was the same. So you remember, all us indigenous people were still alive, first of all. <laughs> Hello. And <laughs> thank you. And we're still living our ways. From, from forever long, you know, up in Kaktovik, it's only been maybe 125 years since we even met any of anybody that don't look like us. <laughs> That's not that long, you know. <laughs> so I think about that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I'm very original here. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so, we, you know, it, what we're thinking, because we're having indigenous people all over the planet, we are facing all these corporations trying to come in and take our stuff. My goodness. And you know what? We can't find it by ourselves. We need people like Elliot. We need, we need allies. allies. Yeah, yeah, a little, little, little perfect, perfect example, example of a of good a ally. ally. You know, you oh, gotta you be a be good a ally, ally. And, and, and you know, first know, of all, you you you, list, you show up to native things. things. You don't have to be shy. You could come to our things. I don't think, I don't think there's, there's anything, anything in Berlin. In Berlin. But <laughs> poor. But anyway, if you come, go to our websites or whatever, you get involved and get to know us. We're nice, okay? <laughs> We're really nice, and we want to be your friend too. But you got to listen some more. Every, every time you feel like saying something, count five of those somethings and then say something. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Oh, okay, but it's good, you know, we need to all work together on the planet. The whole planet needs everybody, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, we, before we go, I want, I need two, four volunteers. Oh, don't everybody get up at once. Okay, two men and two women. Okay, I volunteer you as a man. Is she the man over there? Yes. And then I volunteer you. Two women. Okay, there we got two women. Oh, everybody could be more than two. And then you could hold these in your fist. Oh, I don't need this one. Okay, I need one more man. Oh, you're so precious. You're the most precious. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to dance. Now the men dance like this. Okay. Put your number gloves on. We have a belief about our gloves. But you could just hold them in your fist. You're doing it perfectly, one on each fist. Okay. And then dance like this. And you can get up and dance if you're a man and you say, I want to be dance with you. You could dance where you're sitting. You don't have to be shy. You could come down. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now for the women, you put your feet together. And you bounce like this. Bounce, bounce, good job, good job. And then you wave your hands. Okay, are we getting our moves? And come up and dance. I can see you in the dance. Okay, you can dance in your seat or you can come up, okay? Are we ready to do this? We're learning together. Okay, all right, DJ. Okay, almost done, 
Oh, so precious. Oh, okay. Okay, get in your seats and put your seatbelts on. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> okay. Now, if you have a jacket, I know it's hard, but pretend you have a jacket even if you don't have a jacket. I have my own jacket. I pretend with you guys. Okay, let's put on our jackets together. And thank you for pretending. Thank you. Good job, actors. Now, put your seatbelts on. Now, you have a jacket. Now, you have become honorary polar bears, remember? And you have your polar bear jacket on. But guess what? Your people inside. <laughs> Everybody's people inside too, even you. We're all people inside, just like the animals, okay? So remember that. Okay, are you guys ready to go back to get some cool laughing? Okay. Thanks for coming to Kaktuvik. Are we ready to go? Oh, I don't want you guys to leave here too precious. <laughs> so you guys better come back. I'm gonna stay here in Kaktuvik, okay? You guys go by my by yourselves. Okay, ready? Okay, bye bye. Thank you so oops. Thank you so much, Allison. Allison flew all the way here from Alaska to come and perform for you guys. So another round of applause for her, yeah. So um, so this is the end of Saturday, our second day at Innovate Heritage. Um, if uh, anybody has any questions, we had we had reserved time for a Q&A, but we we're a little over time also. So if people want to ask a question, or else, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Hi. We can also, Allison will also be here for part of tomorrow, so you can also speak afterwards. But if there's any pressing questions. Does anyone want to uh, pass around my kittens? Those are real polar bears. Anybody have a question? All the stories are true. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to say how amazing that was. It was absolutely amazing. It was the most incredible mix of, um, yeah, of stories, of politics and of poignancy and of hilarity. It was absolutely incredible. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. Yeah, I think it, it was very convincing. Um, you passed the message across very clearly, and it appealed to our human nature. You didn't come uh, uh, from a, a traditional point of view of uh, fighting back and just explaining what's happening. And uh, I like the child in you. Um, express it. You did express that. Um, in a very um, uh, innocent way, representing Alaska as an innocent area that's been ravaged, actually. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay. And I have my cards. Oh, I'm, as I'm packing up, I have my business cards over here. I'm normally a rapper. <laughs> That's for, for next year, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so thank you guys for staying. We had a very long program today. Uh, tomorrow our first lecture is actually at 10 a.m. So everybody go home and go get some sleep, and we'll see you back here tomorrow and also on the live stream. We'll begin again tomorrow at 10. Thank you very much.